Hi there guys, Ian here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a Cinema 4D tutorial. Uh, if you watch my latest video, uh, my particles animation, uh, you will have seen this kind of animation that I created. Uh, it's all in Cinema 4D except for uh, some color correction and the flares. Um, but all the animation there that you can see, all the 3D elements, is all within Cinema 4D. Now I'm not going to do a tutorial for uh, this actual object here, but I am going to give you a tutorial on how to create this kind of web-like um, object and how you can animate it and look, make it look really nice and cool. Um, what I'm going to create is some text uh, which actually has kind of a web which uh, forms and kind of builds itself. So to get our text we want to go to MoGraph and MoText and just align it to the middle. I'm just going to go with particles but you can have this um, writing as whatever you like and then I'm just going to make it Typograph Pro uh, increase the depth a little bit and increase the subdivisions a few Next we want to go to the intermediate points and change it to uniform so all the points are um, the same distance apart and just decrease this a little bit just so we get something kind of spread out a bit like this and then go to caps and then change the type to quadrangles regular grid and just increase that until you get something a bit like this might even decrease the subdivisions to 4 depending on the depth of your object and then on your mode text go to this button here which converts it to an object then right click select children press the button again then right click select children and then right click again and connect objects and delete and you can just delete these four tags here what we're left with is a single object which is subdivided into what we want. Next what we can do is just use these little traffic lights here, so just double click on the little objects there and it'll switch it off because we don't actually need them now. Now the next thing we want to do is go to here and insert a null object then right click Cinema 4D Tags and Expresso. Now this will pop up you might get it in a separate window but I have it as a tab here and what we want to do is right click new node thinking particles and then generator and p born and then change the birth type to rate and the rate to 400 and the life to 400 as well and just a bit of variation I've got on 80% next what we want to do is right click new node thinking particles helper and surface position now I'm just going to change the mode text's name to particles underscore on but this doesn't matter this is just so you know what you're doing a bit better and just drag that there and then if you just hold your left click down and actually drag a line it'll now connect these two objects together the next thing we want to do is go right click thinking particles again and go to standard and p set data then left click on the blue bit and go to position just drag this down a bit and change the particles on or the P surface position and drag it to the position and the particle birth to the particle and if we look at it now what you can see is all these little dots actually start to build the word but if we render nothing appears next we want to right click again new node particles and then go to initiator and p pass and then right click again new node thinking particles dynamic 
uh, sorry, friction, and I'm just going to change the friction to 20 and join them up and then right click once again go to dynamic once again and wind just join them up and we want to insert a new null object which I'm gonna call p underscore wind and just drag that onto our wind object and then click on the p wind I'm gonna change um, the wind to spherical change the strength to zero and the turbulence to 100. Now if we look back, now you can see they move around a little um, as well. If I increase the timeline to 400, you can see these all kind of appearing and building up our word all the way around. So this is looking pretty cool. Um, still, if we render, we have nothing. And that's because we want to now go to a plugin called Uber Tracer. This is a free plugin. I'll leave the description for it in the, no, the download link in the description below so you can get this. And what you want to go to is simulate thinking particles and thinking particles settings. I've got a tab down here, yours might appear in a new window. Then if you Ah, oh, this is gonna be annoying. I'm just gonna go Ah, oh, that's really annoying. I've already just done this layout and it's not the best, so I'm going to just make the standard layout and then go to simulate particle thinking particles and settings so we do get it in a pop-up window here and just drag um, the group all to trace link A and then I'm gonna go back to my normal layout and then if we go back into this and make the get points from elements you'll see it goes a bit crazy here um, and if we render still we have nothing what we need to do is turn down the maximum line length until we get something like that uh, just so some of the object uh, letters actually connect up together maybe it can go down a bit more uh, just do it however you like and then what we need to do is insert a end side and I'm just going to make the radius 0.3 and then go to sweep nerves and put both of these into the sweep nerve. Now when we render, uh, this can take quite a while depending how many lines you have. So when we render here, we have this really cool kind of web structure. And if we just switch off the sweep nerves, just so we can move around a lot faster, we're just going to make a material, double click again, go to color and make it all white. And on the specular, just increase the height of it a bit, as well as the width and the full off just a tiny bit. And just drag that onto your sweep nerves there. And then we'll insert a camera and make the X and Y position on zero and rotation on zero as well and just drag it around a bit until you're happy just re-center the camera and so you get something like this now I'm just gonna make a protection tag on here so I now can't move it around by mistake and go out of your camera and insert a target light. I'm going to move this one more to the center, then out a bit, and just drag, drag it so everything's there, and change the shadow to soft. And I'll just duplicate this light, and I'll move it maybe somewhere. like 
here. This doesn't, um, I'm not going to go into a huge amount of detail with the lighting. Uh, you can just do it until you're happy. Then go back into the camera, turn the sweep nerves on, and try rendering it out. And as you can see, we have these fantastic shadows and uh, really nice texture on the web. And if we turn the sweep nerves off as well, when we start doing it, you can see all these lines build themselves. So if we look here, turn them sweep nerves back on. We have these really nice shapes, and you can do so much with it. On my animation here, you can see we have these things that come out. All this is, is if I make a new um, project, is a null object with an expresso tag on. And then all it is, is a thinking particle generator called PStorm. And if we look at this when we play, uh, we have this here. And if I change the life to maybe 100 and the variation to 100, then speed at um, 800, variation at 100, then I think the size was about 15. And then the angle size is 90. No, I think it was about 60. And then all this did was throw out these shapes, uh, well, these particles. And then it would interact with um, this with um, this web here. And it would throw particles out here, and would be make this really in like you just throw the lines out. And as long as your maximum line length isn't too high, uh, the lines kind of fade out quite quickly. If I go into the expresso tag here as well, and if I just disable the friction, now when we look at this you can see we have the wind strongly affecting our object so this is why it was important to put the friction on so everything kind of stayed in place but could move around a bit um, but as you can see if the friction isn't too high you can get these uh, lines that just spray out everywhere and it looks really cool um, you could actually render this out and then put the clip in reverse and that way you would get um, the particles actually building itself from afar um, until you get the line that you like. Uh, so I hope you've learned something from this tutorial and you get a better understanding of how I made my animation. Um, it's all to do with kind of experimentation within Cinema 4D. Uh, so this has been Ian, thanks for watching and subscribe for more.